I'm sorry, I just forgot half of my speech. But in case you forgot, I'm Isaac Hurley from Hampton, Tennessee. Okay, here's the other half. I really, all my life I've been good at like being against Satan, but I've not been very good at like blocking his attacks against me. So I got better at that this week. And I have my counselors to thank. I've learned lots of stuff this week and I'm honored to be coming here. And I learned from Mama Graham that not not to follow the world, but follow the word, because the world's just gonna throw stuff at you, same with um, Satan, but the word gives you a advice to follow. This week has inspired me to trust in Jesus, and I was actually saved this morning at Mama Grant's house. All right. This camp has helped me so much. Uh, I don't really have many friends, and I don't really fit in that well, and just this camp just brings me so close to God, and it helps me in life so much, and I met so many awesome people here, and this camp is just amazing. This week was like the best week I've ever been here, and I think it's grown my faith so much. Because of this place, Still River Gorge, I have been one year and like eight days or so clean off the drugs for good. And this week, I feel like a part of me has been filled with Christ that I never knew was there. And it feels so much better to know that Christ is in my life now and that I have no doubts in myself anymore. Last night, for the first time, I um, accepted Christ in my heart fully and gave him my soul. And I accepted Jesus into my heart yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. This camp, it's, it's literally changed my life. I was raised with a very Christian family, going to church every Sunday no matter what, yet I never felt really connected with God. And like this past year, I've been like, you know, why do I even have to go to church? It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Yet here at Doe River, I learned how to forgive and lose grudges and all kinds of stuff to have an identity and relationship with God and it meant a lot. Now I have a new identity and I'm ready to live my rest of my life as a new Christian. I've been coming to Dead River for like four years now. Well, that was, that was nice. My voice has been cracking off like the hook. I was saved my second year coming and I had a troubled year about two years ago. I lost one of my best friends, Philip. And it's been really hard, and my mind was just not in the right place. And the river brought me back to God and brought me back where I need to be. I grew up in a Christian family, you know, go to church and everything. But I never really wanted to, you know, give my life to Christ because I felt like that would be a burden on me because I'd have to follow all the rules, the strictures, stuff like that. Um, and so I came to camp, you know, really excited to do things like the leap of faith, the zip line, stuff like that. But when I got here, I really felt, you know, that something was different about this camp, that I really felt like there was a certain presence here that I hadn't had before. And so last night, um, I, after the service, I went outside and I started crying and I uh, gave my life to Christ and I'm really excited. <laughs>